Alright, I'm gonna continue my single player file. Just for a bit. Now, in full. Have a second here. Alright, so today, setting up crops um, probably won't be as big a farming area unless there's some big shipping quest to be done. But we can kind of figure that out later. Alright. I'll have a look what I need to ship, but I'm pretty sure I'm on top of things for this season, because I was prepping in advance. I'm probably going to shift that as well, just so it's not ruined. Okay, first things first. These are going. I don't really have a need for him anymore. Saplings sell. So I'm gonna just sell them. I'm gonna move this. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I mean, probably. We'll see. see how this is done. Okay, so I need more radium bars, but aside from that, um, it's two furnaces and iron bar and stone. Okay, so we're gonna make these new furnace types, which are more efficient. We take our old furnaces, we put in one of these and go, uh, that's fine. So now with one of these, they eat up a lot more, but they spit out five bars at once. I'll leave that be for now. I might actually put more on.
Alright. Do that, that. But you do end up saving call and it's um I don't know if it's quicker, but at least you can do five at once, which is easier. The only downside is you have to load it with the minimum amount every time. If you don't have it, it's still worth keeping one normal forge around. Just in case. Okay. There are a few things that are going to happen. To that in a minute. I gotta go to PS and get what I need to get. Okay, so let's take these. Okay, so now we have. Four of these. Gonna produce twenty bars at once. So let's check what we need to do. Before. Pumpkins need to get shipped, which I think I got. Bok choy, um. Artichoke, okay. Most of my money is going to go into this. Corn, I think we got handled. Um, bok choy, let's just get... No. Should be enough. Before I forget, this is required in cooking. This is required in cooking. Alright, I think we're good. I don't know why that's an option, but it is. Yeah, these are going. So the big crop this time around is pumpkin. I'm going to try it for a big pumpkin. Ah! 
Excuse me. Dude. The level of hindrance the pet sometimes does, I swear. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna... That's not gonna fit anything. These are only going to be temporary. Okay, artichokes. I mean, I don't think I'll have these. These are going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. one has to get swapped out. There we go. Okay. Five iridium bars, just like that. time. Oh, they're trying to sleep. That's okay. I mean, there's a little bit of a stockpile.
this is going to take a little bit to clear this backlog. Then again... What am I doing? I might just keep these eggs. Probably not a bad idea. They're actually kind of annoying to acquire. Alright, that's fine. I got one for Clint, at least. I mean, not Clint. Kent. I might quickly go see if he's around. Just to get that out of the way. Oh, I missed him. Damn it, just missed him. If I'd been there five seconds sooner, I would have made it. Okay. Alright, I don't need that anymore. That we have a much smaller farm. Need to give it a Nautilus, Nautilus shell. Stay done. I mean, the tea saplings, they sell for quite a bit. Okay, that's gonna get handled later. I gotta go to the Ginger Island.
Oh my god, I missed the spot. Second blessing statue. Bring these to Ginger Island. Just saying that I have large stocks of. I might bring these as well. Okay. Still not caught up. It's the animal cracker business. <laughs> it's just making them go mental. Shipping what I can. We'll do a round of cheese soon. This is actually caught up. Resort to doing dried fruits. Okay, well, have these keep working. There's a lot done here. I guess since I'm in here and I have them.
to hold on. Apparently I haven't shipped hazelnut yet. What about yams? Got yams need to go. I gotta whittle this down. Oh, I guess I got regular goat cheese. Um, I might keep that as a gift. We go. I need to restock my triple shots. First stop. He is not here. Why is he not here? Okay, one sec. Schedule sounds in the tree north of his house. Oh, I think he might be spending a day at Ginger Island. He's normally at the tree, so that's fine. Uh, what have we got? Uh, 
tropical fishing, bug guts. I'll do the tropical fish since I'm heading there. for making my life easy. Okay. Alright, so these will live here from now on. Yeah, this should protect the flower from being harvested. You're kidding. Oh, it's I've got a crop. What are these? The tomatoes, I think. eventually. Did it take- it took out the Iridium Sprinkler? Wow, that's annoying. I think I need to protect it more. I'm gonna have to bring like a bunch of parving just to defend this, because that should not happen. Pretty sure I got it right.
Wait, do I? No, I don't have it right. I got it wrong. It's off by one. I'll fix it, it's fine. So I have spare seeds. These are eggplants, I think. I don't have to adjust it that way. So it is like this. I'm gonna bring up bring a bunch of stone. All the time. That's fine. Go to bed now and then shut up in the morning. Okay. These are always going to be out of line anyway, so I'm not going to bother watering them. This, on the other hand...
as well. So let me fix this. I need more. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, maybe I won't be able to fix this. I guess let's see. That's right. Okay, fixed, kinda. I gotta come back later. Prismatic. I might be able to do this. Yeah, let's do that. I'll s suss it out. This is why I like our saying crop of every color. seeds. morning stuff out of the way. Okay, um, I'll start figuring it out in a minute. what I can get away with. Uh, 
That's another present for the kid. Say what's considered valid. Let's say this I know is. So that's done. I think purple might be the hardest color to get around. is easy. Oh no, purple's easy too. Okay, so there's yellow. Purple's no problem either. Orange, hopefully we have. Yep. doing for red. Green. Green should be fireball. Oh, there you go. Mushrooms are red. Done. Um, and fireball. That should be it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Done. Okay, and what I need to bring with me... Just a mm, crap ton of this. enough. I need more things to grow over there. Yeah, I mean, I should go pepper and corn. Oh, I should probably do coffee as well, actually.
I mean, we're getting there. So today, without failure, I'm going to do the fishing. I finally have time. What does it say? It says... Okay. Five Stingray. turn this in. I might buy the pressure one. Guess we'll see what I value first. No. There we go. I would say, so here's the thing, in terms of good stuff to get, key to the town so then I don't have to stress for time, and then it's, well, this is hard. The recipes I would get last, prioritize them last. I might get the June in my chest, because then I can transfer stuff to the island easily. I was tempted to go the nozzles, but it's like, eh. But that's what I can do is keep one on the farm, and then I can move stuff back and forth easily. Okay. Even this is still wrong. I'll let that slide at the end. They're just mushroom seeds. Well, full seeds, so grow eventually.
Yeah, this is wrong, but that's okay. I'll... Oops. I'll fix it. Don't want anything. Okay, it's not going to ruin anything. There we go. So much for fishing. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna go. Because if the pirate cove is here, then I have to try and get Stingray. And if it's not, then I've caught a break. It's not here. I guess let's try and do some of it. I'll be back. I might be able to re uh, to fill the rest of these up, we'll see. See, I have corn. I may have planted corn twice, we'll see.
Okay, the important thing is this isn't going to waste the land. We got free transfer between the two. Makes it easier. I'm gonna make some pepper seeds. Kidding, Leo. Purpose for saving the red mushrooms, prismatic challenge. Makes it easy. Maybe a few more pep as well. Now I don't have to stress for time because I can go to Ginger Island whenever. Cool. 
Mm. Hopefully Leah's gone and out of the way. I got something else I can do. Part of the fruit processing, I can do this. Going to cleanse before he closes. Hopefully, I can find the loss of what I need. This is kind of unlucky. This is really unlucky. to these. Okay, I got one new one. Two new ones. worthwhile. Okay, um... Start. Well, I mean, I'm pretty close. Just to the... Okay, tend to the animals. Sandstone. Okay, just being careful.
This to transfer what I want. It might be time to put cheese on. thing now. Thanks to this key to the city. One. Oh, it kicked me out because the pirates are here. Be okay. These are the hardest ones to get. Thank you. 
Oh, I got a st <laughs> got the Gorman statue. I forgot that you can fish that up here. Strangely. Nah. There we go. That's five, right? That's no, four. Damn it. One more. Just leaves the blue discus. Five. I guess I may as well spend the night here. something grew in front of it. Transfer these across.
Not a whole lot I can do about that. It's just gonna block it. It's another gift. I guess friendship's high enough to do this. Hello, Leo. My name's Linus. I've heard all about you and your parrot family. Really something special. Hi, lad. Linus lives on the mainland with the rest of us. After hearing your story, I wanted to help. So I talked to Linus here and he hatched a little plan. Go on, Linus. Tell him. Leo, I'd like you to come back to us, with us to start a valley. It's a beautiful place. Not as warm as here, but still full of life and I live right in the middle of it. I know the lay of the land and many things about the water, waters, the trees, the animals, and more. You see, I'm a child of nature too. You might say we're birds of a feather, but I'm getting older and I'd like to teach someone all that I've learned before moving on. Will you come back with us? Leave the island? I can take you back for a visit anytime. But lad, you can't live here forever, you know. There are other children back home too. I'm sure they'd love to meet you. Other kids? What do you think, Chrono? Yeah. Also, I forget the choice of Tilio. Alright. I'll go. By my family. She says, Those parrots are all happy for me, and they want me to start the next chapter of my life, wherever it may lead. And no matter what happens, I'll always be my family forever. I'm ready. Oh. Sorry. Hard to remember to talk normally. You think I'm weird, don't you? Not all. Thanks for saying that. Don't 
Sometimes I wonder how different my life would be if I had never washed up on this island. Back home I didn't really care about birds, I never thought to listen to what they might be saying. So I guess that's normal for normal kids. I wonder what normal kids would have to say about me. Do you think I could ever be a normal kid again? Sure. Guess you're right. They're living on the island has given me a lot of experiences normal kids would never have. If it weren't for parrots, who knows what would have happened to me. I'm happy I met them. I'll always consider them to be my family, even if it makes me a little strange. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. Maybe someday you can be part of our family too. Yeah, let me teach you how to play. Let's oh, how to say let's play. Okay. Tilapia, really? I thought tilapia was an ocean fish. going on. I don't want tilapia. I want the discus. Five of these. Random is random.
Okay. That's done. Away that I'm gonna smoke, and then the others are gonna become sashimi. ready. Same with this. as I'll keep growing this. Damn, I might need another one of these. Suddenly looking like that. Okay. I'm gonna check something with Robin real quick.
think that's fine. Doesn't get in the way too much. No, okay. I was gonna say, if I used all my wood, I'd be surprised. Next. Still got time. So one thing I need to bring into my daily regimen is getting hardwood. Okay, hasn't found life yet. Leah, are you, are you kidding me, Leah? Get out of the way! Oh my god. That's... Why, did, why does that happen? Should not be allowed to stand in doorways like that.
That's so annoying. to the quarry for a little bit. Hopefully by the time I get home, she'll be away from that spot. Please tell me she's moved. <laughs> It's time to load this up. going out to the woods. Oh, there's a single stone in the way. I needed to I need to get into the habit of getting this done. I need more of the seeds. I'm gonna camp out here so then I can just do this again in the morning. Oh, right. There you go.
long as I keep doing this, I'll get the seeds I need. tank, which I don't really have anything to put there. collect anything in real life uh not really not really i have stuff i own but i wouldn't say like i collect it and go out of my way to get it it's more like little things i enjoy you know i'm not avid about them that I'm the most into is just like gaming to be honest just trying so many different types of games I wasn't really able to get into collecting anything just because as a kid, like, growing up, didn't really have that luxury of expendable money to just buy things to collect. I never really got into collecting anything. Right, I have a single, single corn crop there for some reason. No, that's not what I want this to do. Ah. Wait, does that even work? Huh, it does. Interesting. I'll stop. 
Okay, I need to put stuff in here temporarily. I tried any of the Harvest Moon games. Uh, the one I played was the one on Game Boy and the one on the DS. I think I got the Super Nintendo one on the Virtual Console, but I don't remember much of it. But the one that I spent a lot of time with was the Game Boy one. I think my copy is like somewhere around. I know I still have it somewhere. That's what got me into this, was just, yeah, memories of that game. Another late at night thing. Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance? Color. It was like a black cartridge, so it worked on the original Game Boy and the Color. That was one of those things that I wish I had, but yeah, no, no money for it. Everything. Okay. Don't really have anything else here. Um, what I should do. been buying up things that you wanted as a kid or things that got lost yeah what's good uh, I the only thing that I have that it's not technically lost is that I didn't choose to take them because I would have been a monster <laughs> if I did but um 
you know, I bought a Wii. And a bunch of games with them. A lot of good games. But when I moved out, I didn't take it with me because my younger two brothers, like, they loved that console. And I did not have the heart to take it with me. So... That's the only console I don't really have the games for that I bought. Um, they're still around, but yeah, they're not in my possession. Everything else I still have. Because I made sure that those consoles didn't get sold or pawned or borrowed or anything like that. You're gonna be trying to get a virtual boy. Um, that's no, I got a Wii U now. It's 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 all good. I got a Wii U, but the games that I got, like, I picked up a couple again. So I got like Mario Galaxy and um, Paper Mario, but there's a few others that like I should pick up. They're not difficult to find, but they're not exactly a priority right now. Shipping from the US to Australia is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like... Uh, take whatever you're shipping, and then it's like double the price of the value of the item usually. It's, it's annoying. Like if I need to buy, for example, like an NES game that's worth 40 bucks, the shipping will be 40 bucks. Just shipping anything to Australia is is a task in itself. No, I'm good with the Wii. I just need to get some of the games that I, uh, I used to have on it. But again, it's like, not too much of a priority. The Virtual Boy is something that is intriguing to me, but it's like, it'd be more of a collector's item and something that I'd have a practical use for. Purely because, um, Well, it didn't release here, for one, and then I guess the only- there's only, like, a small handful of games that I'd be curious about, but I can- now there's a really good emulator on the 3DS for it. Which... it'd be a collector's item. See, that's the thing, like, the console itself is terrible, but the some of the games- I mean, I played Virtual Boy Warrior Land, and that was actually really good. I had fun with it. But, you know, that was on a 3DS, not putting that thing to my face. I have an analog pocket, so, like, if they ever come out with an adapter that lets you play those games on the pocket, that might be worth it. Just getting the games. I don't know if they ever will, but it'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, that thing was so much of a failure that it wasn't even out for a year, and they did not bother in Europe or Australia. It's kind of a sad story, given the guy behind it was the dude that um, pioneered the Game Boy, and then after the failure of it, he passed away in an accident. So he didn't really get to do anything else. Okay, well now I can probably brute force this. Okay, so it's either this, this, or this.
Yeah. There's only so many combinations it can be. Niche consoles, I don't know they made a micro Game Boy Advance. Uh, I think it was like, uh, they did like a limited edition here, if I recall correctly. It was one of those things that had a nice screen, but it was tiny and it's <laughs> practicality was questionable at best, but it looked cool. Okay, I'm good. All right. I don't think I'm working on any overarching quests right now, right? I mean, these, yeah, I could do them to them. There's nothing there, but there's no benefit other than a little bit of money. It's barely larger than a GBA cartridge backlight rechargeable battery. Yeah, so that's the one I'm thinking of. The only reason I knew about it was because I, like, back in the day, I really wanted a Game Boy Advance. But, you know, too poor. Okay. I got it. Because that thing seemed like a portable Super Nintendo, and the Super Nintendo just loved that console. Especially since some of the games that came out for it were just ports of SNES games, but they had enhancements. Incredibly uncomfortable to play. Yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> from what I saw of it, it looked cool, but the practicality was questionable. Uh, you can bl blame the whole, like, making tiny devices thing. I think they did it because Apple had the iPod shuffle, and there was like a bit of a trend of making miniature things for a little bit there. If there's one thing that I would splurge on in terms of like a cool game to have that's reasonably attainable, it's not cheap, but it's certainly not like extremely expensive. There's like a game that, um, I forget who's involved, but like one of the, it had an all-star team and it was released for the, uh, like at the end of the NES's era. It was called Little Samson, and the game looks really cool, like, visually it looks great. And it plays like a Mega Man game, but you switch between characters. So like, I don't have rare games by any means, but if I were to pick one to get, I'd probably get that one. Because it looks cool and be something that I'd actually play. Only practical if you need to save layer space or if you're into hiking or something, I, I guess. But is the GBA like really that much bigger? Like the clamshell one. Clamshell one was pretty, pretty small. I need to make the incubator. Uh, 
Where is it? Oh, that's annoying. I need my cinder shards. I don't have them with me. They're back on the... I'll get them tomorrow. It's fine. Of course it needs cinder shards. Wait, why? It's weird. I should have eggplant in here, but I guess I don't. I need to double check. Bad news about Little Sam's. What's the top budget for that? I don't know if there'd be a budget. Like, I know it's expensive, but it's not as expensive as, say, something like a Virtual Boy game, for example. Like, there are some Virtual Boy games that are ridiculous in price. It's one of those things that you'd have to be patient about. There's also the Japanese version, which is a little more common. It's called Lickle. It's exactly the same. It's just Japanese, that's all. So if anything, I'd probably be going for Lickle. I know it's a few hundred dollars for, like, Little Samson. There are some people that try to, like, go for a thousand with it, but I've seen it pop up a few times for a few hundred bucks. That's the annoying thing about just trying to get older games, is just career eBayers. Want an authentic Little Samson, the lowest currently on eBay is 500. Yeah, sounds about right. But that's just, you know, going with the person that prices it that way. But I've definitely seen one for like 300-ish. You're a bit of a creep, eBay. You don't take offense. No, I get it. It's like it's a side hustle, but okay. L let me let me um like clarify, right? For something like Little Samson, perfectly understandable. It's a rare game. Um, you know, not many were sold, not many were printed. Fair enough. But then you have the other scale of it, which is just like Pokemon, for example. Millions upon millions of copies sold, but just because it's a Pokemon game, eBay is just sell them for ridiculous prices. They buy them all up wherever possible, and then they just sell them every time for, like, just a ridiculous price. Despite the game being always being one of, like, the highest selling games of whatever console era it's from. Like, millions upon millions of copies worldwide. So that's the circumstance that it gets me in. For rare games, yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? But like, you know. For games that have sold millions upon millions, yeah. The landscapes definitely changed quite a bit. Used to be able to pick up secondhand games pretty reasonably, and now there's just too many people doing it as a career. It's a good thing I hung on to most of my Pokemon games, though. <laughs> There's a few that I want, but it's just like... I'm not gonna pay 400 bucks for a copy of that game. Uh. 
Like, I think that's where the discrepancy is, is you know. They're selling it like as if it's a rare game. Okay, I need to go get the cinder shards. I haven't paid eBay asking price on Pokemon games most of the time you find them at garage sales. Yeah, I mean, that's the way to go with those games for sure. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot to do this yesterday. Um. Okay, time for expansion. Rawr. Uh. Tripling the wine output. gonna make what do I even have I don't really have anything that's in a large enough quantity that would ah uh, I guess these but I kind of wanted to save them <laughs> I could do this I could make juice There's like a world's largest garage cell. Happens once a year, a thousand of people all set up at once. That's neat. But it's not like a true garage cell, right? Like, I mean, okay, it's one of those things that it's technically a garage cell, but like, it doesn't have the spirit of a garage cell. Like, I'd imagine there are people that are running a business setting up there, no? Whereas to me, a garage sale is like someone that isn't running a business trying to sell stuff. And you can get really good deals there. Like stuff that you'd be really happy that you found. At one of those events, you might. But I'd imagine most of it would be people that are running a business. Eighty to twenty percent. Pretty good. That sounds cool. I don't think we have anything like that here. The closest I have is um we call them like trash and treasure markets. But it's a it's a bit far away now, because of I live in the city. It used to be closer when I lived out way in the middle of nowhere. My brother gets a bunch of stuff from the Facebook Marketplace, just people selling things off. But, I don't know, using Facebook, ugh. Yeah, I don't really have anything that I want to get urgently. Okay, I gotta get these in the shards. Oh, it's Sunday. I can give Kent another gift. Six hundred and ninety miles long span, six states. Damn. Where is he? 
Oh, Sunday service, right. Wait, where is he? He's not here. He's usually with them. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Did he go to the, the island and have an island day? Is that what he did? <laughs> he did. <laughs> Instead of going to Sunday service, he just came here. That's funny. Okay, um, grab these. I have them on me. How is this looking? Okay. I don't have to stress about this now because it's defended against breakage. I think the only things that are on my list of like keeping an eye open right now, and it's just because stream. Um. Is like the GBA versions of the Mario games. Because I, for the longest time, I thought those games were just. They were just re releases, you know, the Super Nintendo titles. I thought it was just, oh, this is. This just looks like what happened on Mario All Stars. But apparently they're not. They're like. There's actually extra content to them, and. Some of them even play a little differently. So, it's got me intrigued enough that I want to check them out, but it's like, well, if I come across one, I'll, I'll get them slowly. Most of the ports have slightly different content. Yeah, I, I know, like, because I checked out the e-reader levels of uh, Mario 3, and... Just the fact that Mario had voice lines, man, I, I could not get used to that. Like, it was... It was off-putting, it made me laugh, it was just... And then just the gameplay differences in the e-reader levels, but then people were telling me, yeah, that... It's not, it's not just the Mario All-Stars version of the game, so... Yeah. Because I got the analog pocket. Play through them at least once. I did find the Donkey Kong Country trilogy for GBA. So I have that now at least. That one I know, like Donkey Kong Country 3 is straight up different. The soundtrack is completely different. And um, it has a completely different map. Like, I've world, hold on. Um. Minus... Jeez, I almost ate it. And, um... Yeah, like, it, it's... It's different. That's all I can say. But I haven't played them yet. I played the Super Nintendo Trilogy last year, because... It had been long requested. At some point, I'll check out the GBA versions. How did I lose so much health so quickly?
Okay, I'm fine now. I need to upgrade my sword. They magnetized to me and didn't... Ugh. See what happened. I think it's that robot. Yeah, because I'm lazy. Eh, I mean, I'm never gonna do anything with that. I need to go out of my way to sell it. have anything I want to get rid of. No dragon teeth today. Wait, she's already done with us? Okay, well... We gotta upgrade it before I start setting things up in there. Okay, uh, what do I need more of? Wait, oh right, I know what happened. There it is. All right, incubator. Okay. I'm gonna have ostriches. Which, <laughs> in the multiplayer file, I still haven't done yet. This file is barely in its sec- well, okay, it's like halfway through its second year. And it's already further ahead than what I've got going on in the other file. These are so nice, just being able to make 25 bars at once. Go 
goes in, that goes in, that goes in, 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 in. Keeping that as a present. Can't recall the last time you played. Been a good while, but you got to the point with Gram Strategy. That's uh, third year. I'm still a while from that. But I mean, some of this new content's really good. It's just, it's a little weird. On the one hand, the stuff is great. On the other, there's things that I look at and I'm like, okay, so take this. They have this new late game thing. You can make these. So furnace, and then you have the heavy furnace, which smelts 25 pieces of ore at once for the cost of three coal. So you're making a saving of two coal and it smelts five bars, which is crazy. That's great. But then, you know, the, this concept of heavy, like they didn't do it for the recycler or some of the other stuff, that would be great to have that. Like to have a heavy recycler, that'd be awesome. Putting in five pieces of garbage at once. Or like a heavy keg or just something of that nature where it takes that same idea but then applies it elsewhere. But it's, it's just for this. So, I don't know. I'm sure that the people that mod this game will add stuff like that, but... Got fed up with the community center and sold to Judge Mart. Jojo Mart's a bit easier. There's more content for Jojo Mart now. Particularly when you get to the island. So that it's not so empty. Okay, well. I'm keeping this file every time I make a VOD for it. It's like, one week of progress every time. So that's one week of progress. Alright, well, if you're checking this out on YouTube later... Thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it useful if you're a beginner. Um, yeah. If you do want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can watch me play other things in the meantime by clicking those videos that pop up at the end. That stuff does help out a lot, so thanks to those that do that. Really appreciate it. But I'll do more of this sometime soon. 